For real. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you that way. Maybe I like you. Well, hello, and thank you so much for joining me here today on my channel. In case you don't already know me, my name is Ange, aka 50 Cents UK. And yeah, guys, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are, whatever you may be doing. And as usual, sending you lots of love. Now, guys, I am so freaking excited. I am doing a first impressions unboxing, first sniff with you of the brand new Kayali fragrance. Eden Juicy Apple 01. Guys, when I saw that Kayali were bringing out a juicy, fruity fragrance, I was just like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for. I am excited. I'm on the bandwagon. But then again, Kayali could bring out a brown paper bag and I'd probably buy it because I am a Kayali fan. And do you know what? I love what the brand stands for. Like, I think Mona is just a boss bee. I love her vibe. I think she's down to earth. I think she's incredible what she's done with her brand. I love it. And I love Huda as well. I love Huda Beauty. I love the two of them together. I think they are great. They empower women. They're just top notch girls. So what's not to love? But anyway, <laughs> Let's get into the fragrance. So this just literally came through my door. I ordered it from Selfridges, as you can see. This is how it comes. And yeah, the Selfridges packaging. I love how they package things, so bougie. And, oh, crikey. That's what the box looks like as usual. Love this red, it's so beautiful. So let's unbox this baby. So this is what it looks like. I do love the Kayali packaging and oh, this red, I mean, get out. Look at that. That red is so stunning. This is really cold. This has literally just been delivered. It's icy cold. But look guys, the bottle is stunning. I love that color. I think it's very fitting for the type of fragrance that it is. So let me tell you what the notes are in this perfume. The notes are red apple, lychee or lychee, black currant, pink grapefruit, wild berries, jasmine, raspberry bloom, may rose, vanilla flower, musk, sugar, moss, amber. That's what it says on Fragrantica. So let's not delay and let's have a spray. Sorry guys, I'm just so cheesy, I can't help it. But here goes, first impressions. Mm, okay, <laughs> yep, this is up my street. Okay, this is sweet, juicy, delicious. It's very girly, it's very playful. I get the berries, I get the apple straight away. Mm. This is honestly right up my street, okay? This is the kind of perfume that I think is gonna be very versatile, okay? So I, oh, now I'm smelling this. Like, I would wear this anywhere, guys. Like, literally anywhere. It's one of those easy wear fragrances. This is very young and fun. I get what Mona was saying when she said she wanted to create something a bit more young, a bit more fun, a bit girly. This is sweet, okay? I love a sweet perfume. Oh, the berries, the black currant, the lychee, the apple, yep. I'm getting all of that. It's very sweet juicy, fruity, and it does have that kind of mouth-watering quality to it. Yes, it is lovely, guys. I really like it. Now, I knew I was going to like it just from the notes. I'm wondering what it's going to be like in the dry down, whether you're going to get more 
of the musk and more of the vanilla coming through as it dries down. I can actually smell the grapefruit as well. It's, it is zesty, but it's not like a citrus perfume at all, but it is zesty. It is very fresh smelling, but at the same time, it is sugary sweet. And I love sugary sweet perfumes. Like this gives me kind of like, you know, like a toffee apple. It's like that, like a really sort of syrupy, sweet, sugary, coated apple. It's like that. And it almost has like a candy floss vibe to it. I'm getting like that sticky sweet vibe and I'm loving this. Like this smells really good. I get what people are saying when they say it gives you like those Victoria secret kind of vibes because I guess they make those kind of really sweet perfumes or sweet body sprays or whatever it is they do. But obviously this is going to be next level. I'm sure this is going to have much better lasting power than the Victoria's Secret. But obviously Kayali make quality juices and they choose top-notch ingredients. So I'm sure this is gonna have really good performance, fingers crossed. I'm gonna spray this because I can't stop spraying it to be fair. I love how this smells in the air, it's beautiful. I'm gonna spray it, I'm gonna leave it for a little while, let it dry down because I wanna see if some of those florals come through because I'm not really getting much rose and I'm not really getting much jasmine. So let me leave it to sit on my skin for a little bit and then come back and tell you a bit about the dry down. Okay, so I am back. I've had this sitting on my skin for a couple of hours now and guys, I still love it. I really do. In the dry down, it's more powdery. I noticed that. It's a bit more musky. It's still very fruity though. That fruitiness does not go away. The vanilla really does come out more in the dry down. And like, I don't know what it is because I know it doesn't say plum is listed, but I get kind of plummy vibes from it. I know there's berries in it, so maybe there might be a bit of plum in there, but I get like a plummy vibe from it. And actually, to me, the apple is not the prominent smell that I get. It's more the berries, the vanilla, the musk. That's what I get from this. The florals, I don't get very much at all. But you know what? I like that because I'm not a floral girl. This to me is a fruity gourmand. It's young, it's youthful, it's fun, it's playful. This to me will not offend anybody. There's nothing not to like in this perfume, seriously, unless you don't like a sweet perfume because it is sweet. But whilst there is sugar in it, a sugar moss, no, it isn't sickly sugary, if that makes sense. This has just the right amount of sweetness for me. Like, it, this is just fun. This is a fun, fragrance. This is just something that you will just throw on whenever you fancy, when you're not sure what to wear. I think men are going to really like this on their women because it is sweet, it is fruity, it is juicy. Men tend to like that kind of fragrance on a woman. Well, from my experience, they seem to. And yeah, guys, there's nothing not to like. This is a really lovely perfume. I'm so happy to have it. I think it's very different from any of the other Kayali fragrances, which I think is amazing because that shows the versatility of the brand. I just hope they keep coming out with all these bangers. Um, I can't vouch for longevity yet because I've not worn it for more than a couple of hours, but it's holding up really well on my skin at the moment. I have a beautiful scent cloud around me. So yeah, guys, oh, keep spraying. I'm gonna be spraying this all day. The first spray is so juicy, guys. Really juicy. And I get what Mona was saying when she said it has that really mouth-watering quality because it really, really does. It's like you wanna eat it or drink it or, or bathe in it or all of the above. So yeah, guys, that's my first impression of this gorgeous new Kayali fragrance, Eden Juicy Apple 01. And I will say though, this to me doesn't smell Middle Eastern. It doesn't have that Middle Eastern vibe that a lot of the other Kayalis have. Is it better than my number one Kayali, which is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper? I love that fragrance. Now, I can't really say this is better 
or not better because it's very different okay it doesn't give me the same vibes as what sweet diamond pink pepper does to me that's a more sexier kind of grown-up fragrance this one is going to suit all ages this is a fun playful youthful fresh juicy fragrance so it's in a different category so i can't really compare them but yeah i know i'm going to enjoy this and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. Guys, have you tried this one? Are you going to try this one? Let me know in the comments if you already have and what you think about it. I'd be really interested to know. And until next time, take care.